Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I know I say that all the time, but I'm going to make some sous vide pickled red onions. I've never done that on this channel, so I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all. Uh, before we get started uh, cutting up the onions and all that, I'm going to go ahead and get my brine going. It's going to be a real simple one, but probably a little bit different than you've seen on any other uh, YouTube channel of people making pickled red onions. There's a lot of those videos out there. There's a lot of variations of what you can do with uh, pickling just about anything. You could use any type of vinegar. I'm going to use some nice red wine vinegar that I have. I'm going to use a little bit of different seasoning. I'm going to use salt and sugar, about um, two tablespoons of sugar and about two or three teaspoons of kosher salt mixed together. And I'm going to use some of the It's Incredible rub. It's a good all-purpose rub. It's got a heavy uh, garlic base and some other herbs in there that I think I want to uh, use. We're just going to use about you know two teaspoons of that in with the uh, brine that we're going to use. Then I'm going to cut the um, vinegar back with about a half a cup of water. I'm going to use about a cup of the red wine vinegar and about a half a cup of water. I don't want these really vinegary and I don't want them too sweet so we're not using a whole lot of sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to mix this up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm going to give you a close up of the bowl here just so you can see what I'm doing to mix these up. So I've taken my, it's right at a cup of red wine vinegar and I mixed in little over a quarter cup of water to cut back the vinegar a little bit. You can use any brand of red wine vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you want when you pickle something. Uh, I just happen to want to use this red wine vinegar since we're doing the uh, red onions. Two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of kosher salt. Just going to go ahead and add that and I'm just going to kind of use About two teaspoons of this. Um, it's incredible. It's got a little bit of garlic, a little bit of rosemary and all that. And I'm not going to heat this brine up because we're going to sous vide cook these onions. So you're not going to see me heating the brine up or, or blanching the onions at all. So what I'm going to do is just mix this up all together. And we should be about good. Um, you know to be able to chop up our onions so let me get this all mixed up I don't want to bore you with that and I'll be right back all right all I got my brine it's all mixed up I got the sugar salt all mixed up in there the herbs are always going to float to the top so I'm not worried about that as much so we're going to put that off to the side I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onions now I might not do all three of these onions I'm going to Gonna see where I got when I get these things going. When I get done, with it, I'll try two first, and if I feel like I need some more, I'll cut up the other one. But I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this. I don't want to bore you with it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, went ahead and peeled it up pretty good. This particular onion had a little bit of damage on the side of it, so it's a little harder to cut. But you want to cut these in about an eighth of an inch uh, thick. You don't want them really thick and you don't want them too thin. You, about an eighth of an inch is just great. Um, that makes them great for um, sandwiches and tacos and salads. Pretty much anything you want to put these on. Um, too thick and then they're just uh, too much. They overpower your dishes. and Too little and they get lost. So about an eighth of an inch is great. So I went ahead and put these all in a bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Um, kind of mix them up a little bit. I don't want to leave them whole. I uh, just kind of want to spread them out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut up one more red onion and put it in there. Two is going to work for me today for the amount of brine I'm going to use. So, All right, I'll be right back. All right, all, what I'm going to do is I've got, I just did two of the red onions. I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to save this one for sandwiches or some other cooking, but I've taken two of my smaller um, vacuum bags here. And that's what I'm going to use to 
sous vide these in and store them in until I want to use them. When I open them, uh, I will put them in another container. Like I said, these will last for a long time. Even after we take them out of the sous vide bags, they'll last a while, so I'll put them just in a regular uh, sealed container. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take about half of these and just dump them right into the vacuum bag. And we're going to seal the bag with our Avid Armor sealer and we're going to use the pulse function because we're going to have some of that brining liquid in here so we don't want it to get into the vacuum sealer at all. So that's what, how we're going to do that. I don't want to make these bags about even so I'm going to kind of stop doing that one for now. Start loading the second one. Just kind of eyeball them there. See if they're about even. So I think the brining pickling solution is about good enough for just these two bags. Okay, a little bit more on this one. Uh, these onions are really starting to tear me up a little bit. That bowl away will help. All right, so I got about an even amount in each bag here. So, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix my brine up just a little bit. Just make sure it's nice and mixed. I'm going to pour enough to cover these onions in one. And then same amount in the second one. Okay. And that looks like it's about good. You know, one of these is a little short, so I'm going to add just a little bit more red wine vinegar in the bag to kind of even it out. And this is going to vacuum seal, so they will get submerged in it. So, all right, I'll see you at the vacuum sealer. we're back and about two and a half hours later at 140 they're done got some nice pickled onions they're not they're still a little crispy they're not um, cooked down so they'll still have a little bit of texture to them I'm gonna go ahead and leave one of these just in the bag just like this and it'll continue to pickle in the refrigerator and it'll stay for a long time. But I'm gonna go ahead and open one just so that you can see me take a taste of it. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna just put it in one of these containers here and it'll stay in the refrigerator for, you know, for a good week or so. And I'm gonna leave all the pickle juice, pickling juice in it. So all that red wine vinegar and all those spices will stay in there. Get a little fork here so I can get a little. I'll give you a closer look at this as well. But man, they smell delicious. Oh, there you go. And you can tell they're still they're not too soggy still kind of crispy mmm nice and sweet a little bit of kick from that vinegar yeah they're great you have to try this guys these are great throw them on sandwiches um, tacos about anything. Mm. Check it out. Try them. You can cold pickle them as well. But the sous vide helps them helps it pickle a lot quicker. 
Usually it'll take a couple days in the refrigerator to cold pickle them, but in two and a half hours you can have some nice pickled onions. So check it out. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. Wherever you get podcasts, we're now on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Check us out, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for following. <music>